Hello children, I am Ms. Dorothy. Today I am going to teach social studies of standard 5. Topic of the lesson is locating places on earth. As you can see it very clearly children, it's written here. Lesson 8, locating places on earth. Now, how do we come to know with the help of the Latitudes and longitudes, they help us in locating places on the earth. Now, let us focus on latitudes. As you can see the picture very clearly, how do they look like? Latitudes are imaginary, horizontal and parallel lines that run from east to west. There are how many latitudes? 181 latitudes. The equator is the longest and the most important latitude. Children, please remember the most important latitude is the equator. Latitudes are measured in degrees and the equator is at 0 degree. The North Pole is at 90 degrees north and the south pole is at 90 degrees south. Now, let us study about these important latitudes. The diagram is given and it is very clearly written children and this will help you to understand by looking at the picture you will understand the lesson in a better way. Number one. Arctic Circle, 66 half degrees north. Tropic of Cancer, 20, 23 half degrees north. Equator, 0 degree. Tropic of Capricorn, 20, 23 half degrees south. Antarctic Circle, 66 half degrees south. The equator divides the earth into two halves. As it is given in the picture children, the equator divides the earth into two halves. The upper portion of it is the northern hemisphere and the lower portion of it is the southern hemisphere. For a better definition, it is written here, northern hemisphere. This half is above the equator southern hemisphere, this half is below the equator. Next, let us study about the characteristics of latitudes. Latitudes are parallel imaginary lines that run from east to west. We started our lesson with this point. Latitudes are parallel imaginary lines that run from east to west. Latitudes are measured in degrees. Equator is the longest latitude. The length of the latitudes goes on decreasing as we move ahead on either side of equator. At poles, a latitude is just like a dot. Now children, you have to remember these characteristics as it is given very clearly, I sincerely hope that you will remember these points. Next, let us go to the next portion. Latitudes, we are done with it. Now let us start with the longitudes. Now what are longitudes? Longitudes are imaginary, vertical and parallel lines that join from the north and south poles. They are also called meridians. Longitudes are of equal length and are measured in degrees. The zero degree longitude is called the prime meridian. Please remember children, suppose you are asked what is the prime meridian? You have to remember this line. The zero degree longitude is called the prime meridian. It passes through Greenwich near London and hence called as Greenwich Meridian or 
standard meridian for calculating the time. The time here is known as Greenwich Mean Time. Now, when you look at the picture, the study makes it very much easier for you to understand. There are 180 meridians towards the east of Prime Meridian and 180 meridians towards its west. The meridian of 180 degree east and 180 degree west is the same line. Now what is this line called? This line is called the international date line. And we do not actually write E or W for this line. Next, we go to the characteristics of longitudes. As we have started with the longitudes, we studied these few lines. Longitudes are imaginary, vertical lines that joins the two poles. All longitudes are equal. Zero degree longitude is called the prime meridian. As you can see it in the picture, it is very clearly given. Zero degree longitude is called the prime meridian. 180 longitudes are there on the either side of the prime meridian. That means on both the sides of the prime meridian. Now children, we are done with latitudes and longitudes. Now let us come to the topic locating places. How can we locate places on the earth? Now locating places on earth is a difficult task as it is spherical in shape, round in shape. In order to know the location and direction of places on earth, a set of defined methods has been developed which involves the use of imaginary points, the latitudes and the longitudes. The latitudes and longitudes crisscross each other forming a geographical grid system. The points on the intersecting latitudes and longitudes reveal the location of place on earth. Now, how do we locate the place? To locate a place, we must know the value of its longitude and latitude as their point of intersection gives us the exact location of that place. The latitude determines the position of a place in the north-south direction while the longitude tells us about its position in the east-west direction. Please remember these two points what they are doing the latitude and the longitude. For example the location of New York is 41 degrees north 74 degrees west. It means that New York is located at the intersection points. Intersection points means where both the points meet. Intersection point of 41 degrees north latitude and 74 degrees west longitude lines. Children, now I have come to the end of this chapter. I hope everything with the picture is given very clearly. If you need to revise, also you can revise it very well and be thorough with the lesson. Be safe, stay at home. Thank you.